think most people at first when you say research, they don't understand what research is. And clinical trials especially, they don't understand what clinical trials mean. When one might perceive an investigator as a, a single individual with one crazy idea that they're just going to go start testing. The word guinea pig comes up. Sometimes they think it's just random experimentation without any purpose. I think sometimes they think that research is a big secret. The public, I think, sometimes perceives that clinical research is coming from a single individual only, and it's only that individual that has, that has uh, developed the idea and designed the experiment and is supervising it. And that's certainly not the case. People are afraid that they're not going to be taken care of or that something terrible is going to happen. And most clinical trials really have so much scrutiny before they even get to the human being by the federal government, by the scientists writing the trial, by all the people in the background that help support the trial, that you have 100 people behind you. Clinical research is very, very well designed and very, very closely supervised. It's like having double the care. I was very comfortable in the fact that they were monitoring me so closely that if it started growing again or whatever, that immediately I would be on something else. Every project that involves research participants has been vetted through multiple different levels. There's a concept, there's a carefully thought through rationale. The people conducting the research are humans, they're compassionate humans, nobody wants to hurt anybody. So if somebody wants to participate, they, they should, should not be afraid to ask questions about what this means and they should be able to get very honest and direct answers. You know, they're there just to, to, to do you know, the research and they explain everything to you and it's not really like you're a guinea pig or anything like that. Clinical trials are the way that we make progress so you actually benefit yourself and potentially others by participating. They're contributing to something that's going to have effects perhaps years later. They're going to change the lives of people that come later after them. So it should be a good feeling to participate in research and know that, that you're participating in the future well-being of somebody you may never meet. And I think what the general public doesn't understand is that everything they're receiving in their doctor's office went through a clinical trial at some point. And that's how they got to the, to the level of care that we have in this country in this day and age. But none of us want to stay where we are. Stagnant is not good for medical care. Medical care needs to move beyond the general and to targeted agents and to improvement in lives. And we can do so much better. And the way we do better is to do clinical trials. If we don't have that, we don't make any progress.